What's up everybody? Welcome to Fuzzy Games. Fuzzy Games Beth here. Today let's learn how to make portals. Essentially what I want to do is teleport from this blue part to the red part. And it looks like a little portal. So these two portals are just composed of a bunch of parts into a group. So what we want to do is work on our blue portal over here. And remember, this is a model. So it's a bunch of parts composed into a model. But what we want to work on is the part that we want to teleport to, that we're touching. So that's going to be the middle part for me. And I'll rename that to portal. And then go ahead and make sure you untick can collide. Cool. So then once that's done, go ahead and add a script. So we're going to go ahead and delete this print statement. So right now we're going to go ahead and create our function. And we're going to do it so that anytime if our player, we touch the part, then the humanoid root part, which is just essentially our character, is going to be teleported to the position of our red portal. So remember how we had two portals, the blue one and then the red one. So the blue part is anytime we touch it, we get teleported to the red part. So we want the position of our red part. So vector3.new is essentially, it's just the position, rotation size of our part that we want to manipulate or go to. So let's go ahead and get the position of the portal part of our portal B. It should be in our properties. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that position inside of our script where vector3.new is at. And that's it. One more thing, I forgot to set the parameter as hit. And that's all we gotta do. And then our code is done. Cool, so let's go ahead and hop inside of our game. And we'll go through this blue little portal and then boom, we're teleported to this red part. Pretty cool, huh? So as always, leave a like and give us a subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you in the next video. Have fun creating. Peace.